This tutorial explains how to extract fitted values from a regression model using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data set that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame by using the head function, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our data set contains four columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, and y. And all of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if we want to estimate a linear regression model based on these data, we can apply the code that you can see in line 10. And in this line of code, I'm applying the LM function. And within the LM function, I'm specifying that I want to use the variable Y as target variable and all the other variables in our data set as predictors. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new model object is appearing, which is called MyMod. And we can print the summary statistics of this model by using the summary function in line 11 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that an output is returned, which contains the summary statistics, such as the regression coefficients of our predictor variables on our target variable. So let's assume that we want to extract the fitted values from our regression model. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 13. And in this line of code, I'm applying the fitted function to our model object. And then I'm storing the output of the fitted function in a new data object, which I'm calling fit1. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which has the same length as the number of rows in our data. So in this case, a length of 100 values and we can print the first six values of our new vector object by running the head function once again, as you can see in line 14 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a vector object, which contains a fitted value for each row of our data frame. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the fitted function to extract fitted values from a linear regression model. However, alternatively, it's also possible to use the predict function for this task, as you can see in line 16 of the code. So if you run line 16 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another data object is appearing, which is called fit2. And as in the previous example, we can run line 17 of the code to print the first six values in this data object. And then you can see that we have extracted exactly the same fitted values as in the previous example. However, this time we have used the predict function instead of the fitted function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.